I'm Sam. I'm part of the Growth Guild at Aragon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a DAO on the Aragon app. So let's get started. So we're going to start from the app homepage. First, you're going to have to connect your wallet up here. So select your wallet connector and you'll see it right up there. Now we're going to create a DAO. This outlines the steps you're going to take in this creation process, and we'll get to those as we go. So let's build your DAO. First, you need to select a blockchain. I'm creating a DAO on Testnet, just as an example DAO. You might wanna do this as well, just to test things out, but you can also select mainnet chains. I'm just gonna use Gorly today, which is an Ethereum testnet. Now you need to describe your DAO. This includes DAO name, which then is converted into an ENS subdomain. And then you can add a logo and a description. So I'm going to make an Eagle DAO. So this will be eagle.dao.eth right there. You can add a logo and then a description You can also add links, so maybe a link to your Discord, your community's lens profile, things like that. I'm just going to keep going. Now you define membership. You choose who can participate in governance. Either you can mint a token and distribute that to wallets, or you can have a multi-sig DAO, which means one wallet address equals one approval for a vote. I'm going to mint a token. We're going to create an eagle token. Okay, so now you can distribute those tokens to wallet addresses. When you're first getting started, you might not have a core team or members yet to distribute tokens to. So just use your wallet address and send all the tokens there then you can distribute them later. But if you do have people to distribute to, you can just simply add a wallet here and then decide how many tokens should get distributed. But when you're first starting out, it's okay to send them to your wallet, distribute them later. That's what I'm gonna do. Now you can decide who can create proposals. This is a security mechanism. Sometimes you don't want everybody on the internet with an Ethereum address to be able to create a proposal in your DAO. So you might want to gate proposal creation. I'm going to gate it to, you just need one Eagle token, but you can choose any wallet that anyone can create it. You can set this however you like. Now you're going to select your governance settings. The support threshold is the percentage of tokens that need to vote yes for a vote to pass. You can change this by just clicking this plus bar here. You can see how much above the, the uh, majority rate is right there. So I'm just gonna keep it at a, a simple majority. Just need 50% to say yes. Now, minimum participation. This is the minimum amount of tokens that need to participate in the vote for it to be valid. These aren't the tokens that need to be cast for yes, it's they just need to participate. So this means that as long as two Eagle tokens are participating in the vote, it's valid. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. You can see when I hit 21%, bumped up to three, so I'm just gonna keep it there. Minimum duration. This is the minimum amount of time a proposal can be live up for vote. You can't post a proposal that's shorter than this. Again, this is a security mechanism. This allows everybody to, every, all of your members to be able to vote and participate uh, so that proposals can't pass super quickly without people seeing them. So I'm going to give a five day minimum. You can always set a proposal longer than this minimum. So don't worry about that. If you want, if it's a big proposal, you need a lot of time to debate it. You can set it longer, but I'm going to have a five day minimum. Now you decide if you want early execution or not. 
early execution is when a vote meets both the pass rate and the minimum participation, then it concludes before the vote duration time. So say you everyone's really active, everyone's voting, and they hit that pass rate and that minimum participation in the first day, then the vote would conclude. If you don't want to have this, you can then allow vote change. That means that voters can change their vote during the voting period. So I'm going to allow that. Now that you've selected everything, it's time to make sure everything's correct. Just double check. Blockchain, that is not changeable once we deploy it. So I'm good with Corley. Then the DAO details, you can change these, but you need to pass a vote to do so. And then down to voters, that is changeable with a vote. You can mint more tokens, distribute them to more wallet addresses. You can change the proposal creation with a vote. And then voting parameters, those are also changeable with a vote. So support threshold, minimum participation, things like that. So now that I've selected that everything's correct, I'm going to deploy my DAO. Okay, now I just need to approve a transaction. Okay, confirming that. Awesome. Now I'm going to launch my DAO dashboard. So now that it's ready, I'm going to open the DAO. Great. So this is my home page for my DAO. You can see details about Eagle DAO. If you include any links, they'll appear up here. You can see that it was formed February of this year. It's on Gorley and it's token based. Uh, the logo will be here. Then there are lots of options below. You can create a proposal or read more about how to do, do so. You can also initiate a token transfer. So send tokens, swap them, mint them. You can do that here. You can also add members. You can mint more tokens right here. And that's how you create a DAO on Aragon.